Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a Timu haul. I've got a bunch of things. We're going to go through some of them. Uh, you can get a $100 coupon bundle for all users with some codes. And if you're a new user and download the app, you get an extra 90% off in coupon bundles. Search the code DMR6877 for an extra uh, 90 percent off you can find all the links for the stuff i show you in the video uh in my description and i also will show you what it looks like when you are searching on the timu app you can get free shipping on 35 dollars or more that's where i'm charged here in canada it might be a different in your area it just depends where you live and if it's late even by one day you get a five dollar coupon uh, for the next time you buy something on their apps and you have up to 90 days to return anything. We're going to start with this stencil. I already took it out of the pack and I'm just going to put it on a blue background that you can see and it's just like a tree of life earth and I really like this and I think it would look really good if you put it on a black um, a piece of board stain and did the colors. I think it would pop really nice and this one was 338 um, you can also just take out the bottom part. I don't have anything to cover, but if you were to cover out, say, at the bottom and just kept the tree part for any maybe crafts that you want to do, um, you could just do the two parts on it if you need it for a certain project. So move this over here. The next one is, and I like my bathroom is uh, nautical, and I really like this little boat. And it's just a little wood boat, and I think the bottom part is ceramic. And this one was four nineteen, and I'm gonna you could use it in some of the the um, little shadow boxes I really did recently did, or in the little fish the big fish tank would look good at the bottom in the sand if you want to do it with this color with the nice blue in it. Also, the lantern of the box is a little bit beat up. But I had it open already. I thought these would be good for even some um, shadow boxes for crafts. And they came in a blue color as well. You could also hang it. Uh, I think it would look really nice. And I'm just going to turn off my light here so you can see the glow on it. And they also have come with different pictures on it. So it really depends on what you would like to put on it this one was 628 I can see that in the shadow box I'm gonna make uh, this Christmas and I'm gonna show you some farmhouse ones <clears throat> excuse me these are just like wood cutout and just the three little wooden pieces which look would look great on a three tier tray and these ones just for the three were 528 um, show you this one <clears throat> my daughter loves plants and i saw this and i thought it was super cute it's just a planter uh head statue and you stick plants in it i'm just gonna move this out of the way i thought this was super cute now the only thing i see about it having a hole you'd have to put a little saucer so if you were to water it you would want to watch that you don't ruin the surface that you have it on and you could put some fake plants in it, then you wouldn't have to worry about it. And it came in different um, different skin tones as well. And I think my daughter would like this. I could even see her changing this up and spray painting it uh, a dark color, or even adding real eyelashes on there. Uh, it really, uh, if you're creative, you could add different things to it. Even if you didn't want to add plants, you could probably add some hair to it, just as this, a piece that you could put on your hutcher a dresser or anything like that. So the next thing we're gonna show you is the little uh, bottles. They're the mini drink bottles. They're like, I think they're on the scale, they call them little dollhouse drinks. Now I had a 50 pack, but this, as you can tell, doesn't have 50 because I did use them in a Jenga block um, beach bar I did. And I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you. Uh, they were $6.99. So this was the little beach bar that I did. And you can just see them on the little shelf in the back. And I think they all turned out really, really well. I had to clear that up, sorry guys. 
The next thing we're going to move on to is the little retro metal watering can. Uh, now this was $5.79 and actually when I was looking through the packet when I got it, I actually thought it was a lot bigger. I guess I misread the description. But I think it would be really great to add some floral hanging out of it and you can change up the decor for diff different season. Would be great for um, putting it on a shelf. Um, I think this one is a cute one as well. And then this one came in as well. The I like the surf, surf stuff, nautical stuff. This would look good in the beach bar as well, or even the fish tank, or some of the shadow boxes, the nautical ones. They had different um, styles at the time when I ordered it. They had ones that actually the side uh, had words on the side. So that actually where I showed you of putting the little mini bottles with the side like that, you could actually put that back in the beach bar sideways. But another great item that you can use in one of your nautical builds. And the surfboard was $4.99. And I had to laugh at this one. I always like to open them up so I can kind of figure out what I'm going to kind of say. Came with instructions. And this was the fishing net. $2.79. I thought, oh, a little bit smaller than I anticipated. But, um, and I guess the instructions just says miniatures and the <laughs> miniatures for dollhouse. But I did get it and it was for something else. But I'm going to show you what I thought it actually will be good for. This next thing we're going to do is just like the Christmas, uh, Christmas LED one and there was a Halloween one and I really wanted to see what one of these looks like. They have different pictures on it. It doesn't show that on the box, but this is the one. And I took the little tab out already because I saw it, but I really liked it. I'm going to turn the light off, but that would really look nice in a shadow box or you have one of those little places where you put all your three tier stuff or all your Halloween decor. And it's the exact same. You could have it hanging as well. And I like this one. This one was $4.99. I'm not gonna move back to nautical. I'm trying to do them in order that I got my paper with. And the next one was a uh, nautical um, life saver buoy. And this one came out a lot bigger than I thought by the picture, even though I read the description. And that's one thing, you just make sure you read the description. But this would look really good with your nautical, putting it on a wreath, um, depending what you would like to do with it. It could even go in actually some of the, the boxes I've done and the even the fish tank, the Jenga block fish tank, that would go good with it in there as well. Now these ones, just gonna move them over here now these ones were the garden stakes and I've seen a lot of them on social media and they were really pretty and a lot of people are asking everybody where they got them uh, I checked Timu because that's my favorite place to look for something that's different that you can't find in your local stores and I always find they have something a little different that you can't find in stores now this package came it's 107 uh, pieces and it does come with four of the garden stakes it's like a big long uh, screw on there comes with four toppers now this package was $26.99 and I believe it came and these are like the glass ones and I'm going to show you it comes in a bunch of different colors and the blue one's very pretty I think I got pink. I could. And there was one more color, I think. Oh, white. Now, these are not plastic, and I'm going to show you plastic ones, but these ones are really nice. Also came with the different little uh, things you could put on them. Different color beads. And these ones, too, came with little danglies. 
they have a moon star and I believe there was one that oh they have little mermaids uh, that you would hang on there as charms as well and the little screw that you see at the bottom there that's what would hold it together and I did order some extra extra knobs and I did those the knobs were two for 362 and then the big bag of uh 150 beads the resin ones which I liked were some of them were a lot more solid in color I'm just gonna pour some out here that would mix really well with the very very colorful ones now I did one here now this is the one that I did. Now you can see the difference on the knob on top. It's a lot smaller and it's plastic. It's not glass like this, which is super. I'm gonna change this one off right now because I don't like this one. I think I'm gonna really put a white one on and you just screw them right in there just like that. Now those little silver ones right there on the bottom are just the anchor on the bottom to keep all your beads nice and tight and you can put them in your garden and your house plants uh, a lot of people were going crazy for these and i can't wait to to make them next thing we're gonna look at uh these are the four piece wine glasses now they were 449 and they were a lot smaller than i thought but then again i think of the little bottles we did and i'm actually gonna just glue these right on top my Jenga block beach bar and they I didn't even notice that they, they have looks like a little straw I don't know if you can see it there and these were 449 I think they would not that they should have been a little bit bigger but for 449 I think a little bit cheaper would be better now when I place this order um I was a little bit ahead of myself and built the, the the beach bar. But these are really cool. And if you do Hawaiian or Lua parties, they have little holes you can punch right through. And then it comes with a little string. You could hang these up. You can string them along. Even on a long piece of jute rope if you want to do a banner. And these ones were the nine piece were $2.99. Next one we're going to move on to is uh it's a fairy now this one was 629 and i have a i have a little garden for a memorial garden in my yard um and i am gonna put this little girl in the little memorial garden where my mom uh i have all her little flowers in there and i think she was just super sweet and you probably could paint it i would just if you did paint it and you're a really good painter you could paint it and just make sure that you put some waterproof spray over it so it lasts outside and I wouldn't leave it out all year. It feels like cement, um, but it says resin. So to me, it doesn't feel like resin, but it's a lot heavier than I expected, but I think it's super pretty. Fairy lights. Now, a lot of people ask me where I get my uh, fairy lights and I usually get the flat pack. Now these, are waterproof so these are good so even these would have been good for the nautical um, gel bead shell shell display that I did I think it was a year ago or two years ago they come square so they're not as big as the big blocky ones where you have to put the big batteries in so the 10 pack was 639 and you just got to pull a little tab out and there's just a little button and the best thing is you can switch. There's three different settings on them. And they're small enough that you can conceal and they're waterproof. Now the little fun one that uh, I thought was kind of cute. Which I could incorporate this, I guess, if I had room on my little beach bar were uh, resin mini fish bags so they look little like little bags and they don't sit upright so i'd have to hot glue them down but they came in looking like they're just like you just bought them from <laughs> a fish store now these were for the five piece were 
$2.19. But I just thought they were cute. You can incorporate them in even into uh, one of the shadow boxes, the nautical shadow boxes. This one's kind of bent down, but there was a uh, five piece of these for $2.19. So we're coming near the end. So a thousand piece of mixed clay slices. Now, to me, they look more like little rubber erasers, but on the very, very mini side. There's a thousand piece in here. They're $1.99. I thought they'd be a little bit bigger, but I think they could totally be used for um, a Santa workshop. I could see a uh, Jenga block build with a Santa's workshop. And as trim, you have all these like glued down all around the trim of a house or a workshop or a bench. Uh, and they just, they're not very hard, but I think they're, I, I'm gonna incorporate this into Christmas builds because I really like them. Or actually even like confetti you could have on the bottom of a crap that you do or sprinkled on something would be really cool too. Now I've got into stencils. I don't know what it is. I'm here in Canada, so a lot of times I can't, I don't get uh, American decor to do in some of my crafts. I'm just gonna grab my book so you can see them. So this pack came with 16 USA stable or stencils. And they're actually good, really good quality. So I love USA. If you don't have a Cricut, it'd be really good. Let's go through them. There's this one too. What? These ones are really good actually. Fourth of July, well we know that's passed already. But I just really, actually these are really good quality stencils. I got this one. So now I'm set up for next year for 4th of July crafts. Then I go, uh, my heart belongs to America. Ooh, this one's cool too. Let's go this way. That's a cool one. Now the 16 piece set was $10.99. Ooh, this one's a cool one. Actually, I'm really liking them all. And I could even block that out, putting painter tape and just use the truck. What's this one? Party like it's 1776 Independence Day. That's cool. I'm really liking these actually. Ooh, I think this one's my favorite one so far. Seems a lot more than 16. Oh, we got Veterans Day. That one's nice too. And these are actually really a lot better. I don't, you can't really see it, but I'm gonna show you compared to the first one. The material doesn't really feel the same. It looks the same, but these are a lot more sturdier. Also, that's a pretty good buy if you like to do, oh no, don't get stuck. I always like put them back in the package so they don't get all mixed up. I just wanted to pull that out so you can actually see them. And this one I kind of laughed because I didn't remember ordering this. I remember looking at it, but then I remember why. So this is a, a resin tray. I don't do resin. I haven't tried it yet. I know my daughter has before. Now I have a nautical theme hat in my room. So it's like a surfboard and the size was large. It was $5.99. I haven't worked with resin, but then I was thinking when I'm looking at it, if I put some, some people were putting, I don't know if you saw the circle um, flowers and people were using Elmer's glue. I haven't tried that yet, but I wonder if the Elmer's glue would work something similar to that. I don't know how floppy it would be because I haven't tried it, but I might just give it a whirl and put some stuff in it and see if I can do it. And if you do work with resin, uh, I think it would be really cool with some blue paint, sand, and the white, and the water. I think it really, no, I know some of the, I haven't ordered resin, and I, I always want to try it. I just haven't got around to it. It's pretty big, though. Second last one, 10-piece wooden nautical decor. And this is all wrapped. It has hanging things. 
And I'm going to try to find my scissors here. No. They're a lot thinner than I thought. But it always could be good to put on different crafts. And the 10 piece were $4.99. Oh, I like the little fishies. Huh. So that would be $4.99. And it comes with all the little ties that you could hang it on. Now, I did leave the last one, and we're actually going to try it. And I'm actually going to do a test on it. So a lot of people in my video always ask about, uh, especially when I do the Jenga block crafts, I usually, you can always use a nail file, as I always tell everybody. But you can use a Dremel drill. Now, they are so expensive. And I know a lot of people, we like to keep our costs down. So this is the mini drill. Now, this one was $16.49. So we leave it last, the best for last. So it comes with a little kit. Now, instead of um, using nail files, if, like I always say in my videos, if you don't have a nail file, um, if you don't have a drill, sorry, you could use a nail file just for filing down some corners of projects. Now, <clears throat> we're going to figure out how to put this together. And we're going to make a try it right on some Jenga blocks right now. So it's just going to plug it in. Well, we'll put that piece in and then we'll plug it in after we put the tops on. We're going to figure out how to do that. So this comes with all the pieces, so it even looks like it can cut stuff. And these little things would go, I'm assuming, right over that. Nope. Nope. This is the one. There we go. And then you would just pop it right in there. Am I going to read instructions? Nope. So the more I open the circle as I press this button, opens right up. Nope. Try that again. Just let me, give me one second. All right, I figured it out. I looked at the instructions. <laughs> Um, I just switched the little bottom piece because the little gold pieces, some are more open than others. This one was able to put in. You got to press this button and you got to tighten this when you put it in, when you're holding this button down. So you can see it's nice and tight. Now, I did grab a cup, a thing of Jenga blocks here. And we're going to try it out. So we're going to try to round round a corner, which I normally show in videos with a nail file. Well, let's see, and it looks like there's different speeds on here, so I'm just gonna turn it on. And it's working. So this is a win-win. So if you don't want to spend, I didn't do very all the way around, but it does work. So you can see that it's filed down on the corners. Have to play around. I'm used to my Dremel, um, but for $16.49, I think it's a good, I've never used all these little pieces in the same in my Dremel kit. So it's just uh, playing around with them and I guess see what works for them. I know I've only used it just for filing corners, but that might be something that you're interested in. Which one would you buy? What what do, which ones of the all the uh, ideas and all the items that I've showed you? Which one would you buy? And what did you buy from Timu that you really really loved and was really impressed from it? Put it in my comments. Let me know what you guys think. Happy shopping. See you guys soon. Bye. So before this order I did with Timu, I did have another order and it's been sitting in queue in my crafting area. 
And I got this off, if you all remember my last video about showing you the little fishing gnome. Well, they actually had a little skull one and I thought this would be great to use for a craft uh, for Halloween. And just because it had the little fish, I think it would be really perfect if to use the little net uh, sitting down with it when he's fishing. So this was, and I don't remember the price on this one. You just look at it, skeleton, uh, skeleton fisherman, and I'm sure you'd find it, but I think this would uh, definitely go good. And it just fell off. Oh, it just pops back in. Uh, would be great with that if you wanted or something like that. So I have an idea I'm going to do with that one eventually for the fall season that's coming. And I think this is going to be my one of my favorites is uh, it's a 12 piece Christmas gingerbread ornaments. These would be great shelf sitter. Um, I actually really want to do, um, they give you a long rope. I guess with a little gingerbread, you can loop it through, but this would might be good for even doing a gingerbread house. Uh, once again, three tier tray and split them up. Just a couple little things, and I think are little great signs. I see, uh, I definitely see a gingerbread house coming uh, coming out soon, made with Jenga blocks. So this one was ten forty nine, and I think it was well worth it. I do like them, and they're quite they're quite thick, and they're not really thin by any means. And I like the colors on them, so that's a win win for me. And we all know everybody loves. Highland cows. Now this was just a decal, and it was uh, it's a cup decal, just a wrap around uh, decal. Now I do like Highland cows. Who doesn't like Highland cows, especially with sunflowers? Now the only thing I don't, unless you're wrapping it this way to match flowers, but those wouldn't match. I would just cut those out, the little top sections. That are sitting there here as well as here and i probably might even just take out him and then just cut out the sunflowers on its own but i have this this water bottle and i think it would actually look really great on a nice white water bottle but like i said taking those other little pieces out but for 249 i think it was a great great deal now this is one of my favorites and a lot of people had a hard time finding this uh, during nautical season was the seahorses Dollar Tree did sell out and I don't think they brought enough. And I was telling everybody in my last video because everybody kept reaching out to me that they were looking for the seahorse. Now the seahorse does come in Timu in this color more of a tan color and I believe a blue color. Now these were $8.99 and I find them, I like them better than Dollar Trees because they're a little bit more solid. I like the texture and they're a lot better. So if you have seen one of those my videos and you haven't found any seahorses, these are super cute. Which one do you like best out of all the haul we did today? Let me know which ones you're going to buy. Happy shopping. See you guys soon. Bye.